Hello, and welcome to AIM International's preparatory tutorials for the Information Certification Exam. I'm Steve Weissman, Principal Consultant at Holly Group and a certified AIM training instructor in the realm of content process and information management. I'll be your guide as we review the exam's major domains of expertise, and I'll tell you all you need to know to earn that passing grade. Today's subject is information capture, a key part of this special certification which AIM created to support you as you solve your organization's existing information-related problems and plan for its future. For 60 years, AIM has been the leading nonprofit association helping users understand how to best manage documents, content, records, and business processes. This module is part of the Capture and Manage Knowledge domain, one of six within the certification program. In it, we'll explore various ways to get information into a repository, or to get it to behave as if it were, including the integration techniques of using APIs and SDKs and EAI. Application Programming Interfaces, or APIs, are bits of programmatic code that facilitate interactions between software programs in the same way that graphical user interfaces do so between people and computers. Not all vendors open theirs up for customer use, desiring instead to be paid for these sorts of integration services. But this has changed some over the past number of years, and it's definitely something worth asking about if your organization has the skills in-house to take advantage of them. It's especially worth inquiring about if the vendor offers a Software Development Kit, or SDK, a set of development tools built specifically to ease the work surrounding a particular application. These often are offered for free as a way to encourage organizations to buy the software with which they are associated. And besides an API, they may include debugging aids, sample code, and supporting technical notes or documentation. The example on the screen is from the Oracle Content Management Software Development Kit Installation Guide. These items bring us more into the world of integration rather than interoperability, but they occupy the same spectrum of functionality regarding the bringing together of information into one seamless system. Enterprise application integration takes this programming option one step further by creating a single interface point from multiple back-end data sources or applications. Focused on system-to-system -system integration, it includes plans, methods, and tools for consolidating and coordinating solutions so they can act as one. Some early EAI solutions were simply pre-configured connectors between specific applications that saved the work of doing development yourself. As things progressed, though, EAI really became a platform that business applications could use specific pre-built adapters to plug directly into, thus making data transformation a lot more straightforward and putting it squarely in the realm of information capture in more complex situations. This module has explored various ways to get information into a repository, or to get it to behave as if it were, including the integration techniques of using APIs and SDKs and EAI. Having completed it, you may next wish to review the module on standard document formats and compression techniques. The material you have just reviewed is part of a broader program of study that prepares you to take the Information Certification Exam. This proctored test consists of 100 multiple choice questions and is delivered electronically by Prometric. You'll have two hours to complete it, and upon passing, you'll earn a professional certification that's valid for three years. For more information, please visit www.aim.org slash certification. Thank you.